What's up, everybody? Hey, this is Jamie Lewis, the make money online guru, the guru you love to hate. I'm gonna be reading some of my hater comments in this video, and I'm gonna address a lot of the hate, you know what I mean? Now, have to be honest, it was hard to find it. I, you know, if you look me up on YouTube and you look through the comments, thank you guys so much for so much of the support. I was actually getting frustrated trying to find hater comments, but I had it on my to-do list. I'd seen a couple of them. I found a treasure trove of haters in this one thread. I was like, oh wow, I hit the jackpot. I've got to do this video. So it was on my to-do list for like three weeks. And then I finally got time today. It's a Saturday and I'd love to do this. I, I printed it out. I got a paper. I'll also show it on the screen and everything like that. And I'll address it, all right? We're gonna do this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, basically, look, before we jump into these specific comments and I'm gonna address them, I just wanted to explain a concept to you, all right? Teaching this how to make money online type of thing, teaching how to do entrepreneurship on the internet, these alternative methods of building an income for yourself, right? Because God, you know we need it, right? College loans, you know, et cetera. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. You ever heard of that? That's kind of the type of thing that I experienced, to be honest with you. Just to let you know, I started this thing in 2004 selling my hip hop beats. The model is great for anyone listening, whether you're a hater or you're a believer. If you guys have something that you're good at, package it. Sell it as non-intellectual property. Non-exclusive intellectual property. Sorry, you know what I mean? That's what I did. I sold my hip hop beats for 30 bucks. You get download 1200 beats. Need a million dollars. That's right. Now, selling make money online. I got webinars, two a week. That's a hundred a year. And with that being said, look, there's a staircase and the business models get harder and harder. The way it goes is agency, domaining, eBooks, Facebook fan page, TikTok, YouTube launch jacking, YouTube channel, SEO and blogging, ClickBank Evergreen product, launch on Warrior Plus, launch on JVZoo, launch on ClickBank, high ticket webinar, high ticket webinar fused with PPC, pay-per-click marketing, email marketing, very hard, and then industry SaaS. It gets harder and harder, folks. That staircase, is based on the feedback I've gotten through 1500 webinars, that's right. I ask everyone in the questions box, number one, why are you here? It's usually a divorce, college loans, pick the wrong major, got out of prison. The government sucks. There's really never like, oh, Jamie, I am in your class because of you. All right, so here it is. Here are the awesome comments. These are haters. I'm gonna read the haters. Here we go. Number one, this wouldn't work. You wish it didn't work. What this guy is talking about was his TikTok video. I taught the, the lesson, what I taught my seven-year-old son. I said, print out some gluten-free recipes later on tonight at the soccer game. We had to go to the soccer game because my niece, he sold these gluten-free recipes to all the soccer moms. It works. It's just like a lemonade stand. People will pay a little kid money. I wanted to teach him how to do entrepreneurship. My mom taught me how to run a bagel business. All right, about 24 years too late, boss man. So mains, man, really? If you ever watch the Super Bowl and you see a GoDaddy commercial, they're really good commercials, okay? Domains are freaking amazing. They've lasted. It's like pressure treated two by eights, like they make your floor out of them. That's what domains are. They're the foundation of any entrepreneurial endeavor. That's right. And trust me, dude, when it comes to domains, I hate to bust your bubble. And a lot of people are like very serious about their domaining career. I'm gonna offend everyone on that name pros forum right now when I say that it is freaking easy to do domaining, okay? You wanna do Facebook ads? Not easy. Do you wanna do a high ticket webinar? Not easy. Any of those things that come later, email marketing, not easy. Agency, easy, right? You agree, domaining, easy. Probably the domainers won't agree, but everyone else will. Ebooks, 85 year old grannies do ebooks. SEO, blogging, Facebook fan page. This is stuff that the elderly does and makes money with it. Stop, stop it. It doesn't cost any money to do those things. I go on YouTube, I'm not gaining anything from, I already made my money. Or, I'm sorry, I gotta relax, relax, all right. The only problem there is most of the good domains are gone and most business, right, yeah, I can't do it, I can't. Look, you buy a domain, you list it on Afternic. I can't even, I can't even. It's so easy compared to the other models. Liar, scam, well, you wish. All right, because if I'm not a liar or a scam, your life is a tragedy because you should be doing what we're doing, okay? Sell your music like I did. Yo, 
of your tribe, you think of your fail, addicted to dream and inevitable sail. I started out 2004, started selling my music. I did that until 2010, and then I started teaching it. So has anyone actually made money with this yet? Look, you've got to stop this, okay? Um, Amazon would not be what it is. Shopify would not be what it is. And ClickBank would not be what it is. Two billion dollars a year they process. And it is like 100% affiliate driven. Affiliate marketing, the scammiest, ickiest, grossest thing on the internet. But it is very in demand. There's a huge demand for this gross stuff. There's a, a huge demand for drugs. That's why drug dealers are so famous in the movies. Like Scarface is an amazing, everyone loves that. Everyone wants to be Scarface. Why would you want to be a drug dealer? You know what I'm saying? Or a prostitute, like a pretty woman. Everyone felt bad for pretty woman, for Julia Roberts. Why don't you feel bad for me? I'm prostituting my uh, knowledge. Anyway, look, you can make money, okay? The rules are is do something that you are really good at. I'm getting ahead of myself. So anyway, really makes me wonder where you uh, posted the link. Funny how you didn't show that because it's the last step anyone needs. Yeah, I really am sorry about that. That was a sales video and that's how I sell stuff. You're absolutely right. I tried to make up for it by posting free stuff on YouTube and TikTok, but you will get mad at me for doing that. You will assume that I'm doing that just to make money. There's more to it. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, man. I mean, that was a sales video. You're absolutely right. Hey, wait, wait a second. Why am I agreeing with you? Look, there's a lot of stuff that me and Anna did in that video. No, that's fair game. You have to come to the webinar. It would have taken me a million years to edit the video and put all of the stuff in for you to understand. And I do that with other videos. I've worked really hard at free videos too to try to help people join me instead of going to work. It's very boring during the day. Hype is one thing, outright lies are another. Can you get a name on the fast transfer network the same day on a hand reg? According to Afternick, it must be registered for 60 days or longer with the current registrar must be not subject to a 60 day registry lock. Right. I use GoDaddy to sell domains, all right? I use Flippa to sell websites. So it's GoDaddy and Flippa, very easy. Those are my things. There's other ones, Namecheap, all that other, but I use GoDaddy, all right? GoDaddy partnered with Afternick. What you do is you buy a domain, five minutes later, you click on list for sale, it'll list it for sale. Okay, it lists it for sale on Afternick. Someone comes along and buys it, especially because you put it on a marketplace, like mine, and then others, I post it all over the place, right? Advertise. Oh my God, it sells. Your domain name sold says, put in your authorization code. You're like, what is the authorization code? There's a 60 day lock, oh my God. And if you call up GoDaddy or Afternick, the customer service is sometimes eh, and they'll be like, you cannot sell it because it's a 60. Download the CSV file inside GoDaddy. It has the authorization code in it. Open up that email again, put it in. It'll transfer to the buyer. All right, so we figured that out. All right, in my experience, when a method system secret sauce makes more money, one uses it when it doesn't or doesn't anymore, he sells it. Guys, I'm sorry, when I'm reading this, it's really not what it's saying in the screenshots, is it? You know why? Because I use Dictate app, because I had the screenshots and I was like, ah, I forgot to copy and paste the scripts. So I read them and so it does it a little faulty, but, but this guy is basically saying, hey, you know, I'm selling things just because it doesn't work for myself. This is great advice. When you're making money or when something works for you, it could be anything, like the method that you're selling, right, in an ebook or whatever, worked for you real good. If it works for you real good first, it's gonna be real good at selling. It's gonna convert really good. It's a top seller if it worked for you real good. The flip side is that you're bullshitting people, right? Product sucks. You know, you tried to build a software and it just, it just sucks. People aren't stupid, man. You haters keep thinking that the people buying our products are stupid. Why are you insulting my buyers? They're smart people, really good advice. Same rule goes for like the best products that always were a success were me demonstrating like for instance, I had this how to play drums before YouTube destroyed those niches, right? Like now you, music lessons, no, I do not do that nowadays. But back in the day, there was no YouTube. Oh my God, I crushed it with music lessons, right? So I was real good with drums, easy freaking product craziest easy product. Another one was, I was really good with relationships. I stayed with one girl for like seven years and then another girl for like five years and then another girl, like, I'm like that. I know relationships, I've been through breakups, had children, married, divorced, all that. So I was really good at writing books and like I knew what other people were going through during breakups. So I was able to do breakup books really well. Now, other products, not good at them. And when you're getting started, you don't know. I was like, well, that niche crushes it. Like I'd hear on a forum, they'd be like, yo, that niche is amazing. You know, and I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna try it. 
not good because I didn't know enough about it. So that rule really stands. And that rule here, if a method doesn't work, you sell it. If a method works, you don't sell it. It doesn't work that way. Like when you want to make money and when you want to sell something, you need to impress people. It's like a job interview. You know, when you go into a job interview, if you went in there and you're like, eh, I'm not really very good at what I do, you wouldn't get hired. You know what I mean? Now, I'll skip ahead. This other guy agreed with him saying, you're gonna create more competition for yourself, right? This model that we're talking about, like creating an ebook and selling it on ClickBank or whatnot, right? Like for instance, with my hip hop beats. Dude, you're gonna make $30 product and then you might have like a $97 upsell like $97 a month to come to your webinars. And you could do webinars like I had a football coaching product that had webinars in the back end like that. We've made millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars with this niche. Yeah, we sell domains all the time, but we do not make two, three million a year selling domains. We sell 100, 200,000 a year selling domains. There's a very big difference between 200,000 and two or three million dollars in sales, all right? I've done over $20 million and I don't have a college degree and I've been able to make millions of dollars with this model. The customers love it, so it's a win-win. It's like when I go on Flippa and I sell a website and someone says, if it makes so much money, if it makes $10,000 a month, why are you selling it? For money? For $120,000 in two seconds? Instead of having to wait a year, two seconds or a year. Hmm, okay, so I hope that puts that to bed. Yes, makes more competition. Not theory, good products, actual experience because it wouldn't convert if you don't have the experience. And then your customers are gonna hate it and they're gonna refund and charge back and you'll get TMF'd and you'll go to jail and you'll get raped in the butt. It has to be good, thank you. All right, let's move on. This next fellow liked my music video. This was the end of the hater thread that I had found. It was, again, one of the only threads I found, but it was on a roll until that. And I think it has to do with this is like, huh, there's this guy singing and dancing and this, this song is pretty good and the production is pretty good. They're like, oh, he doesn't just do this, especially not in this model where it's autopilot. All right, because if it's autopilot, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, I'm very good at certain things. I'm not good at certain things, right? But, 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 but I'm, I do a lot of things. You don't need to just do this. You know, it's like this huge contradiction. That guru, he's such a stupid, talentless person. He has to peddle these online marketing products. But he's really smart though. He's using Facebook ads. So how's that work? Big contradiction. You know, the methodology of the hater does not make any sense at all. All right, so uh, moving on. Thank you for giving away my program for free, asshole. Thank you. And remember, that's what Sean Fanning from Napster got in trouble for. Remember that, that's not a good look. All right, this next one. After looking at some of his other videos, he puddles the make money online dream to anyone willing to buy it. YouTube channels, don't fall for it. Don't fall for what? What do they think is on the other side when they click on the link? When I do these surveys of people and I'm like, you know, who got you in a financial predicament? I just don't get it. He states that a big portion of the money that he made is not through affiliate marketing, but somewhat doubt that with all of his other videos having a link to affiliate marketing landing. Okay, this logic is covering his ClickBank programs. Yes, I'd ask someone with 739,000 in real verifiable flip a domain sales for assistance instead. He probably will not help you, sir. So you're stuck with me, buddy. You're stuck with me, I'm your consultant now, all right? I'll help you with all of your domain flipping needs right here under this video in the comments if you would, I don't know who you are, but. All right, so let me tackle this uh, one part at a time here. I state that a big portion of the money that I, I don't know where that, affiliate marketing, that would make me a rock star if I made all my money with affiliate marketing. Are you saying that I mean, it's kind of like the compliment. Haters with this stuff, it's like, it's kind of like they compliment you because if I was a rock star affiliate, that's like really hard to do. Like, as I explained on the staircase, it's much easier, right? To, you know, have an agency, sell domains, do ebook, and that's not really affiliate marketing models. Those are the easy ones. Affiliate marketing is harder to do. But thank you, sir. You say um, you're doubting that I made money in other ways than affiliate marketing. That's like saying, you know, something that's really hard to do. And you'd be like, he's saying he didn't do that. 
not all of the money. I mean, it's very diversified. It's all sorts of different things. I get confused with this guy's comment. But, and in the logic, I, I doubt that with all of his videos having a link to affiliate marketing, this might be what he's talking about. I have a program, it's called Wormhole. I make fun of it. It really is the funniest thing. I call it shithole, okay? It's called Wormhole. It's like the best product ever for this reason, but the worst product I've ever done for another reason. Check this out. Those links on the YouTube videos that this guy is talking about, I think they go to a rotator. And then through Warrior Plus product, shithole, wormhole, they get to get into the rotator. I made it much better in my badass class, the VIP, it's a VIP badass class. And you get to lease, it's like renting out that link on my description boxes in the YouTube and you can put whatever you want. So I've got links in YouTube. And so what would happen is it's in so much demand because you don't have to do anything. You literally get to get traffic from my YouTube videos. And there's people who are like, oh my God. Some people are like, oh my God, it works. I got a sale. There's so many people using it. Some people don't get any sales. So they're like, oh, this is bullshit. I only got two clicks, three clicks. So I'm like, it's a fucking shithole, but it actually is a good product. Think about it. It's like, and then I get this crap. Plus, if I had a link, if I didn't do that product, which I hardly made any money from anyway, you know how Warrior Plus goes. But if I had put my own link on there, I got people purchasing my DFYs. That one is just such a, a bummer because it really is a great product, but it's luck of the draw for the folks who buy it. It's legit because it's like a rotator. And then when you see those links in the YouTube videos, so the people are getting traffic, and then this guy comes along and says, oh, I really doubt that because he has a link to his affiliate marketing stuff. Well, if there's a video on how to make money online or affiliate marketing, and there's an affiliate marketing program or something, that's a perfect fit because then it'll convert. Like if it was like a weight loss program on a domaining video, that's not really gonna work too well, will it? I don't know if that's what he's talking about though. But yeah, I would say it's like, you know, 21, $22 million made. I'd say it's about five, six million in music products. I had that verified by ClickBank. Remember when I took that lie detector test? So five or six million of it was music products. I remember I sold Sonic Producer, bought this freaking house, and it's like a 6,000 square foot, five bedrooms, six baths. Again, it's not too big. Yeah, anyway, this guy, so what? You know, of course, the webinar that I do every week since 2011 has made probably $10 million. Get on the bandwagon, bro, instead of feeling sorry for yourself. Doing what I love to do, teaching people really rock star stuff. Guy is definitely an affiliate marketing guy. Same old soundbite, promise big money with easy work. Whoa, not big money with easy work, little money with easy work, big money with smart work. Let's be real about this. It's not get rich quick, it's get rich. Make money quick, you can make a hundred bucks really quick with donating. Are you gonna make $20 million like I did? Well, I'll teach you all the stuff I did and you'll get there faster because I made a lot of mistakes and you won't make those mistakes. Basically come to the webinars and I'll teach you more. Yeah, this guy is definitely, he mentioned it on and throw some Ferrari or Lambo. This guy hates his life. His wife is probably sleeping with the pool boy while he's at work. All right, this guy is a very angry person. You know, he's a look success and throw some Ferrari or Lambo while adding boring video and unconvincing. Look, dude, maybe not convincing you for one reason or another, but my students will tell me, like the people who are in the industry, you'll come up against problems, dude. You know, first of all, you rotate videos, you split test videos. You'll find out which one converts the best. In my situation, in the back end, I would like to keep them paying every month. I gotta do good stuff because then you could get a refund. It's a balancing act, you know what I mean? Like, he thinks I rent my fancy cars. I'd tell you a story. I crashed my Aston Martin into a tree, all right? By accident, I didn't get snow tires on it. Pour salt in the wound or whatever you call it. If I were to rent things, I mean, it is an incredible waste of money, dude. I don't know if you know this. I'll give you an example. You can get yourself a car for 20,000 bucks. You can get an Aston Martin Vantage, put down 20 grand, and your payment will be about 1,900 bucks a month. Now to rent a car, and I've rented cars. I go to Las Vegas, I've rented, I've gone to Orlando, rent a Lambo. I've gone to Vegas, I've rented a Lambo. I've rented a Lambo a whole bunch of times, like, but for that purpose, like after I crashed my Aston Martin, bro, I'll be honest, I do not drive fast. I do not drive fancy cars. I don't do any of that. I don't even want to think about that. And I've got a badass house, bro. Um, and isn't that funny? It's a shame that in this world, I come from the music world, man. 
it was annoying. If you're a musician yourself, you probably know this. Say you're a really good musician. Like say you're a jazz musician, really good. You went to school and everything. And you go to a party and they're like, hey, what do you do for a living? Or like you meet your new girlfriend's uncle and you're like a musician and they like roll their eyes or like, oh, I wish she would find a doctor or a lawyer. And then you hear a bunch of people say, oh, that's cool. I play guitar too. You know, so it's like, wow, you will never get any of the recognition so you gotta wear diamonds, you gotta drive fancy cars. I've seen all sorts of stuff. A lot of people's methodologies are all messed up. All I'm saying is that you're gonna see a lot of contradiction like just all over the place. I mean, and you know, a lot of these comments are just contradictory. It's like, first of all, everyone hates the rich because everyone is poor. You know, that whole thing where you're like, Oh, he's not gonna tax the rich. You think you're rich? Rich people have 100 millions. He's gonna tax those people. No. He's going to tax people who are like plumbers and electricians because everyone else is so poor. 250,000 is like top 5%. This is not the problem with the rich. This is a problem with the society. Like it is that bad. So yes, when someone says only the top 5% or top 1% or whatever like that, dude, it is bad out there. It is like top 1% is like only a couple hundred thousand dollars. It's like an electrician or a plumber. They got four kids. They got a 3,000 square foot house and they live in like Mount Kisco, New York or something. They work hard and half of their money goes to taxes and they get sick and they're like moving in with their kids into an apartment in like Bridgeport, Connecticut. Stop it. All right, anyway, all right. All right, this guy says, oops, I've spilled my morning coffee watching this entertaining video. This guy is facing a lawsuit from one of, never had a lawsuit, never. You could look it up. Some guy said that, I remember that. This guy buys the most incredible product from me on Flippa. I went through a divorce. I sold everything. And I undersold myself selling this thing. Now the developer who built this thing with me went with the buyer. He jumped ship and this happens a lot because I was telling him, oh, I'm gonna be having a hard time financially, right? I lived in this house too. I kept the house through the divorce, another story. So he went with this guy. So me and him weren't getting along. Me and the developer weren't getting along. And I was like, I don't have no money. And he got salary and I was like, I can't pay the salary. He got so mad, sold the site. He went with the guy. The guy told him that he would pay and he talked crap about me. And then he posted that thing on my flip up. And it was very hurtful. It was not nice to say that. Yeah, come and take it. He broke the contract because I was supposed to get a percentage from it, obviously. Horrible human being. All right, anyway, it's amazing how these guys come up with new schemes to scam people. All right, why do you gotta call me a slur like that? That is like, if you've ever gone on YouTube and you watch those people in India who con the old ladies, they show them a fake bank account and stuff. Be careful who you call those words to because if you said that to me in person, I don't wanna talk about this story, but someone actually did. They looked me up on YouTube, he lost his girl. All right, anyway, um, all right, back to this. All right, so can someone link the YouTube videos on his page? Why, that my YouTube videos are are awesome, man. Like, I don't understand this guy either. He says, it's amazing how these guys come up with new schemes. It is amazing how it's, a, we are amazing. Well, I am amazing, you know what I mean? How on earth would I be able to continue doing it for 13 years without being TMF'd, without being sued, and have tons of people in the comments liking what I do? Very funny stuff. This video is gonna help you out. You're gonna learn how to make money online. If you're done this. I hope this is cleaned up soon. I don't wanna see anyone else take it. Hopefully that 30 day guarantee is honored. Yeah, or you would be able to charge back, bro. And that's no fun because it comes out of my bank account. So I have to do very good work. Pressure is on and my customers are my boss. Thank you. The high price tag of what's being offered. There is no high price tag, da da da. Obvious red flags against this internet marketing company. Wishing to teach domain investing. No wolves in the hen house without first proving trust the wolf. The wolf. I mean, that's kind of like what I teach too. I'm like, look, don't be a sheep. But I also kind of teach my students too, don't be a wolf, be a sheep dog. You can either be a wolf, a sheep, a rat, or a bat. Be a sheepdog. Because a sheepdog is kind of like a Mr. Miyagi, you know? There's, he's the good guy. Yeah, I mean, don't call me a wolf either, bro. It's kind of like a compliment. It's better like, I, I never thought anyone would be calling me a wolf. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been like around a bunch of um, rowdy college dudes at a bar? Have you ever experienced that? Like they kind of start picking a fight with you, calling you names and stuff? I wish I could bring this guy. I mean, it's the same thing as my divorce lawyer. My ex-wife's divorce attorney. I wish you could debate her. 
she will kick your butt, homie. This is what I was telling the judge. I was like, I have no money, da da da. Or she'd come up, she'd be like, don't be fooled, judge. He has made millions and millions of dollars and he does it very quickly by pressing a button. He has 14 eBooks on Kindle and blah, 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 blah. Makes me look like amazing. Debate her, good luck. Those guys at the bar who'd call me skinny and well, what are you doing? Oh, don't mess with that guy, he's the wolf. You know what I mean? Argue with those dudes, tell them how evil and wolf-like I am. I gotta wrap this up, guys. This is just redundant. His largest sales are websites, not domains. The video is misleading by implying that all of his sales are domain names in the video. How on earth did I say da da? Flippa websites, GoDaddy domain names. Those are the sites that I use to sell those things. I used to use eBay and I have done a few private sales and broker sales. So there's like four different ways. Can't show the broker sales. Private sales, I do kind of show that. GoDaddy, I show that. Flippa, there's no way you can fake that but you really can't fake flip a reporting how much money you've made. It's great, it's a public marketplace. Do you see what I'm saying, the difference? I mean, I can show all day, I could be like, look, you know, all my GoDaddy receipts and all the domains I sold for like 200, 400, $500, but there's no way you can debate flip a sales because that's public. It's like Warrior Plus Marketplace, although I don't really brag about selling freaking 100,000 units on Warrior Plus. It's a really sketchy marketplace. I do believe my products on there were like some of the best. I think other people would agree too, but it's not something I go around like talking about because of the stigma there. Does that make sense? But I had this great product that my wife actually made 6,000 bucks with. It's called Forget About Broke. And they're really inexpensive. They're like $10. There's nothing wrong with them. But um, yeah, Flip is the place for websites, bro. GoDaddy's the place for domains, all right? Yeah, get mad because I didn't put uh, GoDaddy screenshots on that one launch. I just talked, good grief, you can't win. As someone else, called me out on not including enough screenshots. If I include the screenshots, you get mad. If I don't, you get mad too. You get mad both times. What am I supposed to do, bro? You tell me. Yeah, he makes his money selling digital product subscriptions, not actual domaining. Domaining, I have not made much money with domaining. All right, I've only made about 200 grand selling domains by themselves. It was ridiculously easy to do that though. I'm sorry. It was just like the easiest $200,000 I've ever made. But yeah, you're right, I've made $22 million. So I don't make my money with domaining because I only did $200,000. You see how stupid you sound, bro? All right, let's move on. And yeah, these guys, oh yeah, blah, 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 how to make money selling on Amazon elsewhere, da, da, da. Look, here's the thing, dude, is I've never put out an Amazon product, although I've, I have made some money with Amazon. Again, not a lot. The way I did Amazon was affiliate program, not, you know, associates program, not actual e-com. I don't do much e-com at all, except for t-shirts and for my box. I created a box, a DVD set, true story. But um, I have heard some scams, some Amazon, very high priced DFY Amazon types of things. It really is a shame. You gotta look at the demand though. Again, I don't know a lot about it, although I do know some of those guys. I could agree some of them are psychopaths, but again, it's drug dealer, drug addicts. Sorry, man. I mean, as prostitute, horny guy. We gotta educate both. We gotta educate the psychos that there's other niches, they're gonna get in trouble. And then we gotta educate the horny guy or the drug addict to break their addictions, all right? I'm not saying it's the addict's fault, okay? I'm just saying there's a huge demand for it. One of my products is $1,000, is DFY, and the headline is take a week off. I'll do it for you. Now this is assuming they already know what they're doing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but no, dude, I'll get customers sometimes and I have to downgrade, like I have to do kindergarten with some students, like the mindset stuff. And it drives me nuts. I'm like, did I put on my website? Like, if you are a drug addict, a gambling addict, have cancer and are getting kicked out of your house, buy my course. I don't say that on there. So I'm like, why do I attract? The real reason is most people have some problems, bro. I don't have one of those manifest money. I think that's some bullshit. I don't have like no personal development course. I think that's some bullshit. I have some very specific types of things, which is like monetize your expertise. You know what I'm saying? All right, um, and then we gotta go. This is going on too long, all right? You guys get the drift. If you had a tool that could turn $12 into $1,000, he wouldn't ask you for $12, let alone go through all of this effort to ask you for it. I made $200,000 with that software in the last month, okay? Yes, awesome. But again, I wouldn't be able to sell it, dude. Trust me, all right? Like, I'm not an idiot, you know? I, 
only gonna put out good products. I mean, the only people who get mad at me are people who watch it from afar, not the actual people who buy it. The people who buy it are happy with it. And then this guy posts the disclaimer, like as if that's some proof that I'm a scammer. You have to post that, it's FTC regulations. There are regulations, bro, so. We try to be compliant, bro. We post the disclaimer, all right? Stick a fork in me. Haha, -ha, that guy is still going at it. I remember him from affiliate marketing forums 20 years ago. Wow. Apparently, he's made good money pushing various ClickBank products, flaming logos in 2024, making fun of my Prime Domains logo that has flames on it. Dude, it converts like crazy. Make fun of the logo all you want. Every time I post a video about domaining, everyone goes crazy about it. My fault, I put out domain programs in the past because that's the first thing I ever did, so I know a lot about it, I'm sorry. Have you ever heard of the saying, it's a double-edged sword? I'd be like, I got this really cool deal. You're running an agency. I'll show you how you can automate the process, you know, and that's it. Say there's no screenshots, there's no proof. It's totally compliant, legal. You get all this hate in the comments. Well, how do I know that you're telling the truth? I'm sorry I used the Lambo, all right? I'm sorry, I know it made you upset. I know it makes people upset and I'm sorry. And a lot of the time my students and customers, they already know what they're doing pretty much. So it's like, it doesn't matter. They already know who I am. But for people who don't know who I am, man, it's a hostile environment, especially if you're trying to teach this stuff. The colleges are trying to put me out of business. That's why there's no one who supports this alternative method until the pandemic came along. That's right, the pandemic came along and violin teachers all over the United States learned what Zoom was and they started doing webinars. It was a glorious, amazing thing. It really helped all of us gurus out because now it's like, the haters really have less to say nowadays because it's kind of like, oh yes, I know what that is. Oh yes, I know what that is. So it's funny, you know, the haters would be like, he sells something for a thousand dollars. 10 bucks a webinar. It's actually a really good freaking deal. Violin lessons are a hundred dollars, usually $50. So I am 10 times less than a violin teacher. That's right, and I'm teaching you how to package and write ebooks and make money online. And you can't deny that I know how to do that. All right, I'm in it with you, you know what I mean? I'm dedicated to it. I show up to them webinars on time. I had diarrhea last time and I showed up very late, but it went on three hours. So I hope that makes up for the fact that I had some bad diarrhea. All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was redundant and weird, but it happens only, you know, I don't do this every week. It's not like, oh, here's the weekly hater video. You know what I mean? Like I do it every couple of years. I always find it's really funny. I love to debate politics. I love to debate all sorts of things. So if anyone would like to debate me on any of these things, but I meant what I said, like it's overcooked ham. You know, I've done so many domaining products. I really do want to put out a um, music video, how to do music video products. All right, so I'll see you guys later. You're amazing people. Thank you so much for all of the hate, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye.